competitive Pokemon lore, we're going back in time today, like way back in time, to the first ever VGC format. In 2009, VGC was played on Pokemon Platinum. The rules are very similar to the rules we play VGC on today, with a very similar ban list to our non-restricted formats. But what do you notice about this ban list? That's right, there are some non-legendary Pokemon that were illegal to use. And this is something that's happened once or twice in the future with Pokemon such as Ash Greninja, but this ban was purely for technical reasons. In VGC 2009, unlike today, there was no feature to set Pokemon's levels that were higher than 50 to level 50. Because of that, Pokemon such as Tyranitar and Dragonite, which evolve at level 55, were banned by technicality and couldn't be used in competitive play. While they are pseudo-legendaries, it's notable that other pseudo-legendaries are able to bypass this rule because they evolve at a lower level. You may have noticed that all Rotom forms are also illegal in competitive play. This is because the item required to use these Rotom forms in Platinum, the secret key, was only distributed for a limited time, so not every player had access to them. The ban on all these Pokemon was lifted in VGC 2010, which was played on Heart Gold and Soul Silver, because they fixed both of these issues by setting Pokemon's levels that were higher than 50 to level 50 and made the Rotom forms possible to get without any event. If you learned anything new, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make tons of VGC content and check out my Twitch channel to watch me battle live.